<laughs> Do we have any Australians here this evening? Well, yes. Oh. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hi. What are your names? I'm Grace. Grace and... Mary. Grace and Mary. Yes. Oh, you're Catholic girls. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, ladies, uh, which yes. part of Australia are you from? Melbourne. Ooh. Melbourne? That's the bit that I like, yes. along with other parts of Australia. <laughs> I've been to Melbourne. Have you? Yeah, yeah, I've been down to St Kilda and Fitzroy and all around there. Nice. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's the thing, ladies. I'm glad you're from Australia because... Um, Last night on the show, I talked about your Prime Minister, uh, Miss uh, Julia Gillard. Gillard yes. Yeah, and I said, Gillard. Oh. And I got a furious tweet from Australia today. Yeah. The people were like, Bongo Dingies! <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, it's that! <laughs> and I felt terrible about it, so I'd like to apologise to you okay. uh, personally, and if you could take that back to Australia. Why are you here? <laughs> Are you on vacation? Yeah, yeah vacation. vacation. Oh, vacation. Holiday. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holiday. <laughs> Holiday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Holiday. Aren't they strange? <laughs> yeah. You say holiday instead holiday. of vacation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you having a nice time? Lovely. Yeah. Yes. Oh, good, good. Thank People you. being nice to you? Very nice. Americans are very pleasant, they are. aren't they? Yes, I like them. I, I'm one, in fact. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been to Australia, though. I enjoyed it immensely, but not for a long time. Why? Well, I was drunk when I was there last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some stuff happened. Yes. Okay. But the Prime Minister who was the Prime Minister there when I was there was a gentleman called Bob Hawke. Okay. <laughs> was a while ago. 25 years ago, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, he's not the Prime Minister anymore? Then? Oh, right. All right, then. How is the one you've got, the uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Miss Gillard. Gillard. Gillard, yes. Gillard. She's all right. Is she? Yeah. She's doing all right, John. Yeah. Right, um, yeah, good. I'm all not over getting a word of this. You getting any of this? <laughs> She's good. She yeah. fell over a couple of weeks good. She fell that, over? That was really funny. Oh, bless her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> political people. Oh, you want Australians or just you two? Uh, two? Oh, I see. Australians are quite political though, aren't they? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever met any? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's put the international incident to bed. <laughs> Thank you, girls from Australia. And as a special treat, we're going to send you to, where are we sending them? Craig's Restaurant. Craig's Restaurant, which has nothing to do with me. It's a restaurant called Craig's and it serves terrific food. Meat! Uh, <gasps> yeah. Which, as uh, Australian uh, girls from Lesbian Row, I'm sure you'll enjoy. <laughs> very quickly, just very quickly. Do you notice that uh, in, in Australia, because it's in the Southern Hemisphere, their lesbians go around the other way? <laughs> We'll be right back. with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
show I ever hosted Mr. Friends. And thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. It's enough. Great. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. I am also pretend excited to see you. <laughs> My Lord, it is freezing in here tonight, isn't it? Are you guys cold? All I can see is perky nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Creeped out the entire studio audience, but don't worry, because at home I can see your perky nipples too. <laughs> Craig, you're being disgusting already. It's who I am, baby. <laughs> baby, I've never said that before. Yeah, I'm trying a new thing. I'm saying baby. What do you think? Jeff? I like it, baby. Yeah, I like it too, baby. <laughs> your uh, nipples don't seem uh, bothered by the cold. No, I don't have any nipples. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> Oh, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. You started clapping. I thought, I'm doing it then. I'm just going to keep going. Uh, it's a big day for America. Great day for America. Yeah. God, I've been saying it every night for nine years. Did I get it wrong? <laughs> it's a big day for America. Get off of my lawn. <laughs> uh, no, it's a great day for America. Uh, what is the big news? Oh, yes. Uh, in Hollywood, this is the big news in Hollywood today. Disney have bought the rights to the Star Wars uh, movies for $4 billion. Oh! <gasps> No, after the deal was signed, Goofy turned to R2-D2 and said, Hey, you're my robot now, bitch. <laughs> Four billion dollars, though, that's a lot of money. I mean, George Lucas was already loaded, but now, now he's got, you know, he's got more money than, uh, than Cher has faces. There, uh... <laughs> nah, no, I don't like that. I love Cher. She's lovely. I don't want to say that. She's a national treasure. You get that picture of Cher? There she is. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, George Lucas, he's got a lot of money. George Lucas can get more money than uh, uh, Jeff. The, uh, the British royal families had nude pictures taken. Okay, that's it. Uh, he's got more money than... Um... Uh, Larry King's head wipes. Okay. <laughs> Excellent work, Jeff. Let's Thank move you. on. Now, the first thing Disney announced after the deal is they're making a new Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> Did you hear that? No, it was almost imperceptible, but I heard it. That's, that was a nerd groan in the audience there. <laughs> it's almost imperceptible. It was a nerd in the audience. Just went, uh, uh. You need special microphones to pick it up, but I could hear it. Uh, it you hear that noise every time they change a Doctor Who. You hear that. Uh. <laughs> Anyway, the Star Wars trilogy, there's going to be, there's going to be more. Uh, the, the, the first one was released... Uh, no, the first one... No, the, what, the, the next one will be released. <laughs> the first one was released in the 70s. This one, the new one is going to be... Jeff, help me out here. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. 2015. That's what they're going to... They're going to release, start the new one. <sighs> <laughs> so let me be the first to congratulate the Star Wars fans. Live long and prosper. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars fans love it when you do that to them. Yeah, yeah, that's They're like, really good. Uh, the original Star Wars cast might be coming back for this one, which is great, but they're getting up there a little bit. Maybe Disney can make the age work for them. Because, you know, in the original, uh, Yoda was over 900 years old. Like, off my lawn you will get. <laughs> <laughs> Rapidly descending, my balls are. <laughs> Jeff, you got in? Nipples are perky. <laughs> You know, I hope they bring back Liam Neeson. I love, we love Liam oh, Neeson. We, oh, love, we Liam love Liam Neeson. Neeson, yeah. I have a particular set of skills. I can feel the force in your pants. 
Release the Kraken. That's the wrong movie. Who cares? Hurry up. Quickly, Jeff. You There's no it. time. Quickly. Quickly, Star Wars, go over here. Come on, the A-team as well. He was good in that, wasn't he? Get out your lightsaber, quickly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope that Disney gives the Star Wars fans what they've wanted for years. More Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> <laughs> It. Maybe Jar Jar Binks with a different voice. Maybe Jar Jar Binks with Liam Neeson's voice, Jeff. Oh, yeah. Uh, Misa, so excited to see you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, do it, do it. Uh, Morgan Freeman. Hello, I'm Jar Jar Binks. You're right, that good. <laughs> uh, Michael Caine. Hello. Jar Jar. <laughs> Binks. That's great, that's great. Oh, oh, Regis, Regis. Regis, okay, go. What is the deal with these Jedi? I mean, I gotta tell you, it's unbelievable. All right, uh, uh, Bill Clinton. Me so excited to... Um, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was All right, good. One, one more, then we'll get on. Uh, Matthew McConaughey, oh, yeah, Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, girl? All right, all right. <laughs> Now, Jeff and I are Star Wars fans, of course, and Star Wars fans are passionate. Now, most of uh, Star Wars fans don't like the new Star Wars movies, but some people prefer them to the original, and these people are known as idiots! <laughs> the... Uh... But the, the new films will be made by Disney, so it's safe to assume they'll be family-friendly. There probably won't be that C-3PO gay sex scene, so... <laughs> Yeah, they won't be getting my money. That's no, they sure. probably won't. <laughs> but listen, I have worked for Disney. I've made films for Disney. And you take it from me, they are a great company to work for. If I don't say that, they will hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> you thought CBS was cheap. <laughs> like, if, you, if you're in a Disney movie and you want to go to the premiere, they give you a discount ticket. <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> anyway, George Lucas says that before he closed the deal with Disney, he gave uh, rough outlines for episodes seven, eight, and nine that he wrote himself. And Disney were like, that's great, George. We're going to just put them up on the fridge there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You think it's going to work? Disney take Yeah, man, I'm out? excited. Man. Oh, are you really? Yeah, I'm hoping to get like a cameo or something in one of those films. <laughs> They already got a gay robot. What do you want to do? <laughs> maybe, you know, maybe his, his lover or something. What the hell, man? I don't think it's going to happen. I think what they're going to need is a late-night Scottish douche from another planet. Oh, yeah. Yes! Yeah. I think they'll go into that bar. You know that bar when, in the, the first one with the doo-doo-doo? Yeah, doo, the canteen. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they'll go in and I'll be like, Oh, ho, cheeky monkeys! Oh, hi, Shrek donkey! Yeah, and I'll be like, Bulls, bulls, yeah. hey! Uh, <laughs> I'll be like, oh, it's a great day for this planet. Oh, hi, hi, oh, ha, ha, ha. Hey, in your pants, Luke, <laughs> hey. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> are we, uh, we are now deconstructing ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, I like it a lot. I, I should have said, Luke, in your sister's pants. <laughs> Do not ooh the appliance. <laughs> they ooed you. You hear that that nerd noise there? They were like, Arr, Arr, Arr. Yeah. Quick, uh, do the thing. All right. Watching the Late Late Show, you are. Feel guilt and shame afterward. You will. <laughs> Tonight we're being enthusiastic because it's so uh -oh. cold. We're... It's cold in here, isn't it? Oh, man. Oh, man. It, it's like a, Australia in the summertime. <laughs> because our summer, Jeff, is Australia's winter. Did you know that? Yes, I did, Mr. Prime Minister. <laughs> This all began my fascination with Australia because I had a dream, uh, my Australian friends, a, a, a while ago, where I dreamt I was the Prime Minister of Australia. And I turned to Jeff when I woke up. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, Jeff, I've just had a dream. I was the Prime Minister of Australia. And what did you say, Jeff? Bulls. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, I said that's fair dinkum. You did? You said it's fair dinkum, and then I, I said... Oh, and then we had we were talking last night because they're making... I don't know if you know this because you've been away on holiday but or vacation, but the, uh, <laughs> the Australian uh, school ch children all now have to learn an Asian language. Uh, that's the new rule by Prime Minister... The Prime Minister. <laughs> um, <laughs> So you have to learn an Asian language, and we were doing uh, Australian uh, accent Chinese last night on the show. It was great. The ratings went through the roof. <laughs> Ni hao, mate. <laughs> Hong diddly hong dong, ding dong, right, mate. Yeah. Put, put another egg roll on the barbie. Put another egg roll on the barbie, all right. All right. <laughs> Who exactly are you offending, Craig? Just about everyone, neither. <laughs> what time is it, Jeff Peterson? It's street mail time. Time to take advice from a man who once danced under the name Hand Solo. <laughs> I can get you there in nine parsecs. <laughs> Play the thing. Euro crashes and Euro Email time again. All right, uh, this is from Frida in Sterling Heights in Michigan. You ever been there, oh, Sterling been there. Heights? Michigan? There. Ah, what a place, place. that is. Yeah, That's where they've got the, the, uh, the Sterling there. Yeah. And it's uh, high. <laughs> is, it, is this something stuck to my head? <laughs> Why? Uh, yeah, it looks like there is. Did yeah, someone put a I piece of gum on my what? head or what the hell? I don't know. Let me, let me take a look. It's like some kind of... It's gum. The hell, man? <laughs> Who put gum on the roof? Well, that's disgusting. Australians? <laughs> Here, let me get you a tissue or something. That's, that's awful. Um, I, that's really terrible. <laughs> Did you put gum on yourself? No, no. Uh, here, I've only got the kangaroo testicles. I'll take it off with that. Uh, it's not the first time you've done yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. Right. Good as new, Mr. Prime Minister. <laughs> I'll leave the testicles there with you, Jeff, in case you need them. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Frida, who says, Hi, Craig and Jeff. I took my son trick-or-treating for the first time last night, and when we got home, I swiped a couple of mini candies from his pumpkin. <laughs> I'm not touching that one. Nah, I don't want to. I'm not going anywhere near that one either. Wow, we got 32 seconds left Holy for all these. Crap. Well, we better get a move on. All right, this is from Madeline in Wisconsin who says, uh, "Dear Craig, do you have anything to say?" All right, all right. This is from uh, Alec in Vancouver, Canada. That's way up oh, north. Yeah. With it. Oh, Vancouver! <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, do you think? Uh, uh, yep. Um, <laughs> This is from Marcy in Highland Park, Illinois. You ever been there? Oh, yeah, I love it there. Oh, Beautiful. I love it there. Oh, yeah. uh, Please. Dear Craig and Jeff, can you believe the drugstore in town here had Christmas decorations up the day after Halloween? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, this is from Jack in Wichita, Kansas, who says something. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. This evening is a great big star. He's the most handsome man on American television and indeed Australian television. <laughs> He's the host of The Soup, which airs Wednesdays on E, also stars in Community, which premieres when? when? February 7th! February 7th! <laughs> Have they absolutely said it's going to be February 7th? 
Well, I, I think so. <laughs> All right. It's a great show, which NBC seems to... Well, look, take a look at this. <laughs> Joel McHale, everybody. Joel McHale. Man, that's sexy. Joe, Joe, please, that's tasteless. You're right. <laughs> oh. Hey, you look great. I didn't know you could tango. Uh, I didn't. Uh, but you were tango in there. You were great. That uh, dancing with that dude, you were f sensational. That was a lady. How that's what you? I meant. Uh, that lady was sensational. Yeah, I broke an ankle doing that. Really? Nope. No. <laughs> this is uh, really nice. What did you do? Did the new you... studio painted it, put a rhinoceros up, and lit a fire. <laughs> Why is it so cold? It's very cold, isn't it? I might need a blanket or uh, the horse skin. A horse? Yeah. We could take the tip from uh, one of the Star Wars movies. We could get Secretariat and cut him open and sleep inside. That's a great idea. Let's do it now. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm excited about those new the Star Wars things. Yeah. Th I mean, those, uh, I mean, the, uh, well, they, they, the first one's going to be explain why the last three were so. I got Right. And, um, <laughs> the next one, they're going to, as you talked about, Jar Jar Binks, they're going to go to his planet and kill him. And then, uh, and kill all the other Jar Jar uh, Rinks. Yeah. Well, why can't they kill Jar Jar Binks in the first one back? They just go, oh, sorry, here's why the, the last three sucked. And then kill Jar Jar Binks. You can't tell the story all in one. You've got to spread it out a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what they're, they, I feel like the, the six of them kind of explained everything. What, do you, what are they going to do? I stopped watching after the, the next one back. The first one back, I was like, I, I can't do this. I'm not, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing the it. The Chlorians? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm not doing it. So I went back and watched the first three again. I'm like, I'm staying here. And it wasn't because Liam Neeson was killed in the first one? You I like... don't like the idea of that. I must admit, I'm a big fan of Liam. Don't you love Liam Neeson? I love the Taken movies. I like to, you know, and uh, every now and again to release the Kraken. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I like uh, pooping. Yes, uh, yes. That's... <laughs> yes, pooping. I like Taken, that too. Was... I feel like Taken is what, it's like old Jason Bourne. Uh, yeah. You know, like the Bourne movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But old Jason Bourne. Well, I like that like, idea. Well, he's this older version. I'm just going to jump over here. <laughs> Wait, who was that? I don't know. That was supposed to be Liam Neeson. No, it was old Jason Bourne. I need to work on my Liam Neeson impression. Uh, Jeff does the best one. Quickly, yeah. Joel, there's no time. Quickly! <laughs> <laughs> uh, order, order like an egg sandwich. I'd like to get an egg sandwich with plenty of mayonnaise. No, there's no time. Quickly! <laughs> Now listen, listen, listen. <laughs> talk to me, talk to me about community, because you know I'm a fan of this show. I mean, yeah, I know we're friends, and so I shouldn't be a fan of your show and yes, hang outside your yeah. house with a telescope, but I do. God and bless. I, um... Your, a, your wife came to our house yesterday with your little baby. What? Yes. I know that, I know that. We had a Halloween, Halloween party. Halloween party, yeah, and, uh, I wasn't invited. No, you, because of what happened last time. <laughs> the was, sink is not a toilet, Craig. <laughs> Release the Kraken! <laughs> uh, yeah, your son Liam is like a drunk elf. He's very small. I'm so proud. Uh, <laughs> but, no, he's very small, and then he just runs around and breaks... Fat like... Uh, that is your, your poor wife was just... He was just like... Oh, it was great. Yeah, no, he's crazy. He, I mean, he's crazy. And then when you, when you go to, like, you know, give him a hard time about it, he goes, Daddy, come on. <laughs> What age are your kids now? Uh, seven and four. Yeah, your boys seem a little active as well, as They're I recall. very right? busy. They yeah. really beat the crack out of me. Mm. Um, <laughs> I was wrestling with them, as I do. Professionally uh, or just yeah, at home? Yeah, we each have names. Right. Uh, we have masks. Uh, no, I, one chipped my tooth and uh, drove my lip through my other tooth. What? Yeah, um, I really hit him hard then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He really, at the end, I was like, I need to be careful wrestling. They're, that, uh, they're big enough now that... They can uh, hurt you. They can really hurt me. Yeah, yeah, so be careful. Yeah, don't do that. Now, listen, tell me about community. Oh, I'm right. concerned. Yes. The, the, they were going to put it on, and then they right. moved it, and then they moved it again. What's, what's happening? Well, uh, now they're telling us uh, it's going to be a play. And... Um, 
We're just going to perform it live at street on streets all around the country. Okay, I'm in. Yes. Uh, first, bit, like a happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, all yeah, right. So it uh, it we are going to be back February seventh. Right. I'm very excited. What night of the week is that? I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Uh, um, eight o'clock, Sunday mornings. No. Uh, uh, Thursdays. So that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. 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 That's uh, when you our fingers touched there, that was weird. That was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> be like, be uh, eight o'clock. No, it was weird Thursday, though, because I think like, February seventh. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. All right. At that time. Uh, hey. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch. Release the Kraken. <laughs> That got re yeah, so we're obviously very excited to come back. Yeah, no, it's There's great. There's a lot of dance numbers. That was Jim Rash, Oscar winner Jim Rash. Oscar so. winner Jim he Rash. He has not... He's know. the guy that did the leg, isn't he? He is the guy that did the like, leg. Like, Angelina Jolie went up with her leg and yep. did her leg, and then he went up to get his Oscar and did his leg. Yeah. I thought, ah, I like that guy. He was yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Alexander Payne was, lo has, he was giving a speech. He was like, what's happening? I yeah, want to yeah. thank my mom. Well, everyone Jim's was, we were laughing. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I was there at the Oscars. That, you really? No. Do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, wait, were you a seat filler? Yeah, yeah that's no. right. Yeah, I'm one of the hobos that fills the seats. No. I would, uh, I'll do that with you next year. What? Seat fill. I would love to walk the red carpet with you. I think we should do it. <laughs> Or maybe Thanks, Joel. We should maybe make a movie together. No. All right? <laughs> All right, then. Why not? <laughs> All right, what would it be? Did you, uh, Thelma and Louise, the remake. You be, uh, you be Thelma and Louise, and, and I'll be Brad Pitt. The car. Pitt. You could be no, the I'll car. Be you'll be the car. You'll be I'll the be car. Brad Pitt with a hat. Uh, uh, we could uh, do, like, uh, There Will Be Blood 2. Um, there, oh, let's call it There Will Be Blood as well. Oh. So it doesn't sound like a sequel. That's great. We'll bring uh, the horse with us and we'll sleep inside of him. <laughs> I like how you have the sensor here, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The hottest sensor of all time. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. What can I not say? Can I say, like... Uh-oh. That's, that, that's a definite no. Definite no. Now, I can't... Now, I can say, hey... Groggy. How's your... Groggy. Uh, <laughs> you, but you have to just bleep one of those. <laughs> No, if, if someone's name Bruce? is Groggy, you can say Groggy. If it's a name, but right. then you have right. to take it a step further. Now, what if you say I named? Oh, what if you say I named my Groggy? Groggy. Oh. <laughs> or, or what if you? What if your friend's name is Penis? Ah. You know, it could be. It could be Australian or something. Yeah. Go to commercial, please. What? Go to commercial, please. I can't take two of you ganging up on me. She wants the two of us to gang up on oh her. Oh my God. You can't say that. This is very inappropriate. We'll be right back. Wow. Okay, all right. It was interesting to me because I, it was an experiment. You know, and, and I... Hey, everybody, welcome back. There's no way I was talking to this guy when you weren't here. I wait for you. <laughs> That's uh, right. Um, uh, oh, the soup. Listen, I'm watching the soup, and it's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, we, uh... We plugged ever everything. Ever since yeah? uh, Honey Boo Boo Child came wow. out. Wow, wow. <laughs> it has been a banana. That's, that's like, uh, I mean, a real gift for you guys. When Hallball, Honey Boo Boo, yeah. Dada Ding Dong comes along, that's just... <laughs> she did an gold. entire episode about what to do about her neck crust. And... <laughs> He's, I mean, you see, like, shows like Breaking Bad and Mad Men, they work so hard. I know. And then, then it's, oh, the little dong, doo, ding dong, neck crush. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, TLC, The Learning Channel. <laughs> the yeah. Learning Channel. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So, and we just had Larry King on. So. Really? Yeah. I love Larry. He's 204. I know. <laughs> you know, you can train him using pieces of brisket. Really? <laughs> To do anything. You go like that with a piece of brisket, he roll over. You go, Larry, brisket, brisket. He goes, Whoa, right over, right over. No wonder he was misbehaving so much. Yeah, that's how you yeah. treat him, little pieces of brisket. I just kept snapping his suspenders on his nipples. And, oh my God. No, don't do it Yeah, to me. I know, because. Not in this temperature, they'll I break know. off. Your, your nipples would shatter. I know. Uh, we're out of time. Do you want some fruit? Oh, we're not out of time, dude. We still got to talk about whether I can say penis or not. I'm sorry. Uh, for, oh, yeah, um, I will have some, uh... Well, would what you, you like me to bring the tray over? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yes. What happened to all the other things you used to Well, offer? I can do that as well if you want. You want to do no, an no, awkward, this is way do an awkward pause? You're an actor. We could do an awkward pause.
We could do an awkward pause with fruit subtext. That sounds great. Okay. Okay. An awkward pause, fruit subtext, smell my finger. Great. Okay. <laughs> Don't be careful, everybody. I know. What happened to my channel? Now I'm watching the Barefoot Contessa. No! <laughs> it's still me. My next guest is the host of the uh, next Iron Chef uh, thing, Redemption. No, Iron Chef Redemption, the new season. He's on the Iron Chef. He's good. <laughs> the new season premieres on uh, November the 4th on the Food Network. Please welcome the great Alton Brown, everybody. Alton Brown. <laughs> I thought that it would be fun yes. to dig, you know, like just after Halloween, that we would make some of the most dangerous candy known to man. We're probably going to be injured or killed. Are you game? Yes! I am. Um, we're going to do that now. It's luckily there's a kitchen here. Yes, it just so happens that there is a kitchen here. And the very I'm very excited. <laughs> so, so you're not actually glad to see me no, after no, all. No, it's actually, it's, 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 it's actually. I'll put it here. It's actually been out. So we're going to uh, begin uh, by making a candy uh, that was making originally. Candy. Here, watch this. Watch this. I want you to Velcro this into a column thusly. Invented in the late 1800s, this candy, which was invented by a dentist, was originally called fairy floss. It didn't do very well. I used to dance under Did that Did you name? used to do that, Fairy Floss? You got, you got that? Let me... Yeah, yeah. Can you, you You've seen Velcro in? before. There I you have, go. Okay, yeah. I, um, my it, shoes are all Velcro. Oh, Velcro. Well, as we become older, uh, that's what happens. Anyway, um, Fairy Floss didn't go over very well, uh, but uh, a few years later, it was reinvented by another dentist, two dentists involved, and it was called Cotton Candy. <gasps> Now, most people think that you have to have a special machine to make cotton candy. This isn't yes, the false. Yes, you know, you have to have the carny machine. Well, you can be a carny and not have the machine. <laughs> Watch. I know. We're going to do this together. You're going to do right. one, and I'm going to do one. Okay. And all we have here is some corrugated uh, plastic kind of roofing. Bring that closer here, because it's going to get very messy, and you look like you like your shoes very much. No, I don't care for them. Observe. All right. Oh. <laughs> then we're going to take wow. care of that lickety split. Is this some kind of... Whoa. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, I just chopped up some whisks. I clipped some whisks and bent them to make this. And we're you need going... it? Well, this is a special machine. You said you didn't need it's a special machine. It's a drill. Mach... It's a drill with, with some kind whisk. of sex toy at the end of it. Trust me, the only thing that would like sex with this is that thing over there. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. 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 So, here, oh, here, yeah. here, I, here I have the requisite red syrup. All right. All right now, watch, watch what I do, but don't do it like I'm doing it. Doing it better than I'm doing it. Hey, what the hell? Don't worry about it. It's you, just your floor. Your belt become undone. Oh my gosh, it's okay. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna live with it. Watch. <laughs> Cotton candy. Oh man, give let it me a try. try. What, what's this in here that we're using? This is uh, basically. Oh well, you might be a little more subtle uh, with your, with your approach. No, just kind of lightly, kind of give it a little twirl like that. See. <laughs> now when it comes. Time to uh, dispense it. I like to use just the head of this uh, popular. Uh... <laughs> See, I was merciful. <laughs> Did I mention that this stuff is 260 degrees? So what I like to do is, uh, is wrap it, tasty? it up. Can you it's eat tasty. It? Eat it. Of course, it's cotton candy. It's very tasty. Is uh, I like to wrap it onto the head of a female action figure and uh, serve it. <laughs> hey, let's go over here. Okay. Come around this way. Come over here. This, this is an incredibly timely uh, dessert uh, because this was invented in Atlantic City in 1856 oh. when a giant storm 
washed floodwaters into a candy shop. And uh, the guy that uh, uh, ended up made, here, take this. I'm going to teach you how to pull taffy. Saltwater <laughs> taffy. Uh, yeah. Now, I know, I know what you're thinking. Yeah. Uh, the reason this is so important in American history, besides the fact that it came out of a big storm, I want you to know, you see you're squeezing too much. You need to pull more. Watch, watch, watch me, Craig. I know that you've what seen this before. Here? What's up? <laughs> what happened uh, there? Okay, I don't want right. to see that. Uh, the important part is that this is how American teenagers used to oh, get to I know. Oh, dropped, I dropped mine. Just keep going. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is how American teenagers used to meet each other. They would go to taffy pulls, right. and they would pull taffy, and it was a way, well, it just shows that pulling has always been part oh, of the American is that where the free dating from? scene. Yes. Uh, yeah. And when it's done, you, uh, you pull it, and then you snip it with scissors, and you get something that's like this, and if you pop this in your mouth, you know it tastes just like a Tootsie Roll. Go ahead, try it. Fine, let's move on. Wow! Now, this next one, no, 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 no more of that. Put it down, <laughs> walk away, just walk away. Put these on. Oh, God. Put these on. Oh. I have here. Yes, just put it on. Do, do what I say this time or we'll all die. I have here a dessert of my own invention. It's the most terrible thing for you ever made. I have here one cup of heavy cream and a cup of chocolate syrup. This is a dessert with a combined caloric content of 975 degrees per serving. Wow. And uh, it's almost 100% fat. And what isn't fat is actually sugar. <laughs> That kind of thing. So the fun thing that we're going to do, do me a favor, screw that onto there. Right. It's not too hard. Well, right. with the gloves on, it might be pretty damn hard. <laughs> All right, there we go. Here, you he, take he's this. He's a perky little spud, isn't he? <laughs> this is for you. Oh. This is liquid nitrogen. It boils at 350 degrees below zero. <laughs> now, it's okay to just like pour it on yourself like that. But if I were to like dump it into one of your shoes, it would freeze all your toes off. So let's keep that in mind. So you're gonna hold that. Can I'm I, going to take I, this. I want, I want, can and I pour it on stuff? Uh, no, yeah, you can, but I'd be really careful. Here. <gasps> <gasps> all right, I'm going to charge the worst stuff on earth with uh, nitrous oxide. And you're gonna pour a bunch of that in that cooler. Go ahead, don't be afraid of it. It's gonna be, smoke up a lot, but it's okay. <laughs> Is that All right, enough? That's enough. That's enough. All right. All right. That's enough to be dangerous and maybe. Wow, it's like a Pink Floyd video. It is. Now watch. Here, you take this gigantic and inappropriate martini glass. <laughs> Trust me, it'll be okay. This is great. Now this is it called. It looks like corned beef hash. It's better than corned beef hash. We call it wow. liquid nitrogen dirt, and now we're going to eat it. Yeah, I'll do it. Now, I'll do it. I'll, keep in I'll, mind, you do it. I'll do it. This is about 100 degrees below zero. So what's key is that you keep your mouth moving at all times. And watch what'll happen. Watch me do it. <laughs> chew, chew, chew. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm going to try to make it come out of my nose. <laughs> Maybe you let it sit on your trunk for long. Be careful. It'll burn you. I'm burned. Not, I'm burned. It burns. It's cold. I told you. I warned you about this stuff. Yeah, I know, but it's burned so good. It's burned so good. <laughs> well, what, what's wrong with heavy cream and, and chocolate sauce? <laughs> However, I think that you do have a very bad problem here. <laughs> hey, maybe we can make it harder with liquid nitrogen. If I had a nickel for every time I'd heard that. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. His, his okay. tongue is badly burned. I, 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 I warned him. I had liquid nitrogen, Jeff. Can you translate? Wow, we can finally understand what you're saying. It's wonderful. <laughs> Alden Brown, Jeff Peterson. Good night, everybody. Good night.